Welcome back for video number three in our series about our EOD workspace simulator. I am Pete Kerson. I'm the program manager for our explosive ordnance disposal technologies here at Green Sea Systems, and I appreciate you joining me. Now that our operator can fly the vehicle manually and has shown that they can use sonar effectively, we're going to give them a third mission. The operator needs to search a wide area and find the mooring of a mine. Once they find the mooring for the mine on their sonar, they can switch to camera and follow the mooring line up to the actual mine where they will orbit to collect information about it. The environment is going to be much more difficult. We're going to reduce the visibility to zero, we're going to increase the wave motion, and we're going to give them a strong current to contend with. Because of the rougher environment, this time the operator is going to need to use all the tools available. Auto heading, pitch and roll, and auto depth. They're also going to turn on auto positioning. And what that provides is the ROV is always going to work to stay right where it is in the water column. The EOD simulator allows a training team to take someone from a novice level to comfortable in ROV operations with a low cost, a low risk to force, and the ability to work in, a, in almost any environment. 